A Green Bay family is celebrating a partial victory in a land dispute with the State Department of Natural Resources. May not be totally over yet, but it's about a piece of property in Marinette County. The issue, who owns it? Today, a judge ruled in favor of the family trying to keep its cabin. Lou Hillman has more in this Fox 11 follow-up. It's been a second home to the Weed family since the 1960s, but they've had to fight hard just to keep this cabin on Lake Nakabee. I'm glad that we could get some closure and we can start to enjoy the property um, with our family and our grandchildren, and that's really what this whole thing was all about. On Friday, Marinette Circuit Judge David Myron ruled the Weed family can keep about 1.2 acres of land near Crivets. They've been fighting with the DNR over the property for the last five years. The curtilage of the property goes with the property by adverse possession. So that's including um, the horseshoe pit, the old privy. The land is part of a 280-acre site the family purchased from the state many years ago. In 2003, however, a survey found the weeds had actually built their cabin about 400 feet off their property line on DNR property. The land was marked off by these yellow stakes. The DNR declined a request for an interview, but did release a statement saying in part that it will appeal this case in order to protect the public's interest in this matter. The statement goes on to say the weeds built their cabin on public land, land protected for all Wisconsin residents. But the weeds say they're happy with the decision considering they've used and paid property taxes on the land for more than 40 years. They're also furious the DNR has spent so much time and money over just a few acres. I have a feeling that they probably have better things to do than, uh, than try to uh, systemically bully a landowner up in Crivets. Now, the battle is not over quite yet. The two sides will have to come back here to Marinette County Court to learn if the DNR will be forced to sell an adjacent piece of land and for what cost. It's what we always considered was our property. We maintained it, we, we mowed it. Um, it. It would be important for us to have that. It's just another 1.2 acres, but it's been part of the Weed family getaway, and they're not ready to let it go. In Marinette County, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. The Weed family tells us they've spent more than $100,000 paying lawyers to fight their battle. That number would only increase if the DNR appeals today's ruling.